Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Static Blue with a tutorial. So I won't be making a lot of tutorials. If you're into tutorials, um, maybe subscribe and be not. I usually do gaming if you want to see my channel. But today I am going to cover a problem. Now this problem has been seen many times. Most of the time it's by my friends uh, who have succumbed to this horrible disease and this, um, this plague. So basically, here is the problem. We have a fresh video from Fraps right here in our Fraps movie folder. I just moved it because, you know, the the Fraps folder is... Well, let's just have a lot of stuff in there. And this thing is 22.2 gigabytes. I don't know about you, but this will take me a really long time to upload. Let's see, um, this would take me around... Maybe over a day to upload, and that is a really long time. And that would be really annoying to upload the entire thing. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make the file size a lot smaller so you can upload it straight to YouTube without downloading anything. So you're not going to need anything. All you're going to need is a processor with over 2 gigahertz and a movie. This so this can be basically any format supported by um, Windows Movie Maker. Um, if you have other editors, that's fine with me. You can use those too, but I prefer to do this because I'm too lazy to get any other editors. So basically, first we have to open up a Windows Movie Maker. You could either do it by going Windows Live Movie Maker like that. What I usually do is I right-click it, then um, open with, and Windows Live Movie Maker. So this will pop up with an editing bar. It'll, it might take a, a couple seconds to load. Which is convenient because some other ones they take like a really long time to load into. And as you can see, this is a fresh working okay, video. Okay, guys, this is Two. Like Blue. We're back. About Minecraft. It's full 180p recorded at 50 FPS. Okay, so we have this right here. And this is Two. Windows Movie Maker, basically. It's, you should have it on your computer if you have Windows. If you have Mac, this video is not for you. Basically, what you want to do first is go to Project Appear. Make sure it is widescreen unless you have a custom um, custom screen because most monitors and TVs are widescreen and YouTube most importantly is widescreen. So I like to keep mine at widescreen. So after that, we have our video right here. We can um, maybe put an intro, maybe put some transitions, put some things into it. But you can do basically whatever you want here. Just play with the features. Um, here's what I like to do. Um, after you're done with all of that, go to File, and Save Movie. Here are a bunch of options. So I'm going to go through this, recommended for this project. It depends on whatever you're doing. My project would uh, do it as the same as this thing, at 1080p. And as you can see right here, it'll generate about 200 megabytes per minute of video, but that's fine with me. I'll show you how that'll look like later. Computer. And in YouTube it's like 480 pixels. Um, not really ideal for not really ideal for full screen, but still it works okay at full screen and really well on a minimized. For email, that is if you want to email something or whatever you want. But email will make it extremely low quality, and these will basically put it at um. Yeah, you can just watch these day uh wide screen at 720. Whatever you want. You can make custom settings here if you want um, something like that. But I'll just go with recommended for this project because that is what I usually do. So right now it is... Let's just desktop. Um, yeah, let's just save it to the desktop. Let's save it as Minecraft Smash Bros. 1. I'd like to save it as a Windows Media Video File. You, file. you can open it with the most um, programs. YouTube can have it, so let's just save it there, and it'll take a minute or two to load, so I'll be right back, guys. See ya. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. That only took like three minutes. I went and checked Skype, you know, talked to some friends and stuff. So you can do whatever you want. I just like to close it, and let's, um, let's exit out of this window. So I, I just say no, because if you ch say yes, It'll bring a project, and that I don't really like the projects. Like saves your movie with the project. I like to have everything temporary, so I just say no. And um, yeah, I'll 
find it and put it in this folder. Okay, hey guys, we're back yet again. And we have two of these. Um, so this one, 24.2 gigabytes, 1.6. So that is around a 20 times difference. So that is 20 times your upload speed. And guys, this is really going to help you. Now let's just watch the difference between these two first. Okay. The difference okay, guys, is really hard to notice. So look at that Max for uh, is, is look at that for a bit. And let's go over here. To Paul D. Go Reagan. <laughs> go Reagan. I'm a four yeah. just... Now let's go back to this one. Okay, guys. This is and let's back. watch it. So as you can see, there are black bars, but that will disappear when you upload it to YouTube. Um, I usually make all my videos with this technique. You can go look at them. As you can see, you can barely notice a difference in the video. It is really smooth, and it is still HD, so you have not much to worry oh. about. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I might bring some more if you guys really like this. And as always, have a nice day, and goodbye.